What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Dev Pro Duel video in Ranks, and I'm playing with the Super Quantum deck yet again. Oh my god, how can I just not stop opening with Soul Charge? I don't, I don't understand. I can't not open with this card. Alright, well, first things first, I'm going to activate this, get the Trick Clown and a Garnet out of my deck. Um, even though, well no, I should have specialed the Red Layer first. Shit. Uh, oh well. It's fine as is because I can summon this and then summon the, uh, the Fairy. Uh, and then this will allow me access into basically anything else that I'm looking for, as well as the Soul Charge is also just live. Um, like, this is, these are all things that are relative. Uh, ooh, well, I have the Fairy now, so I don't even have to commit my, uh, normal into this to get the Fairy. In fact, I can normal this off my additional normal and use the Fairy to reveal blue, green, red. And at that point... Depending on what I get, I can adjust my play accordingly with my next normal summon. Oh, red! Oh my god, the best! Oh, yes! Um, so, red layer effect, yes. Green layer, yes. Blue layer, no. Not yet. So, this red layer is going to add a card back to my hand. And what I'm going to add back to my hand is just going to be the fairy. Because uh, it's the only one that actually, like, really actually matters um, to be in the hand. So, I'll discard this to get to draw a card. And then... This uh, red layer is going to trigger special summoning the green layer. Uh, so yeah, so green layer will get special summoned. And so now I've got a blue layer in grave and I've got a blue layer in my hand that I can normal summon and get a search for the field spell with. All this good stuff. Um, so I will go ahead and make the green layer or the green exceeds here. And then I will normal summon this, which will allow me to get. I actually don't even have to use my soul charge. That's really insane. Um, which means I can just make another Magnus if, uh, if my first Magnus gets broken. Uh, but, so we'll add this to hand. And I can overlay these into the red. Red dude. Um, yeah, I can just save this soul charge. That is insane. That is ridiculous. I can make Magnus and then soul charge. Like, excuse me? <laughs> Duelist. Alright. This deck is crazy. I mean, basically the whole thing that ties it together is this card. Like, Fairy Alphan is such an insane card. It is insane. It is a ridiculous card. Let us be real. Let us commence. Uh, do I want to use Blue Layer's effect? Um, no. I do not want to use this one's effect because I want to keep all these names in the grave. Because I do have a Blue Layer under this. Um, uh, yes. Uh, and then I'll activate this and overlay all of these into the Magnus. I didn't even go that minus into this Magnus. I technically mi went minus one. Um, but, like, this card is so insane. <laughs> uh, and all of my effects have been soaked, so I can literally wait with this Soul Charge. I can just wait. This Soul Charge is the nuts. Didn't even have to play it. But people were like, I, would, I was drawing Soul Charge a lot during the live stream. <laughs> I was drawing it a lot. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of glad I'm drawing this now because it was fixing the hands where I was messing up. <laughs> it was like, I would mess up and I'd be like, oh, well, damn. I guess I have to Soul Charge here and get back the materials that I lost. Um, like, that was just what I'd have to do. And But now, literally, if Great King Magnus goes away, I literally just get... To, uh, to deal with everything. Um, and this can get discarded to draw a card, even though I'd probably rather not. Ooh, he's setting everything. End of main phase, yes, activate. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send, uh, I'm going to send this. I could send this, um, which would special summon the, which would discard this. And then I could use the other thing. No, I'll just get Richard. Um, I'll spin one of these back row. Just because. Might as well, right? He's already set a card, so I doubt anything else can happen, really. Uh, and I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different names under him. So he's still perfectly fine as a mistake. Um, instant fusion. That's really good. Uh, but what I can do is I can normal summon this. I can uh, trigger it. Uh, in fact, and the only thing I won't be able to get is blue layer, which actually kind of sucks. Um, hmm. 
Well, this is fine, actually, because I'll tribute this, and I'll reveal red, green, and another Alphen. Uh, and if I get the red layer, then that's really good, because the red layer will add back a card. Uh, nope, got the green. Uh, it's still alright, though. Uh, red layer's effect, yes, I will use it. I will use it to special summon... This can't activate its effect, so I will likely special summon blue layer. Because it seems pretty alright. The red layer has triggered itself. Everything seems good in that regard. I've got the soul charge still. Um, I can make a diamond dire here um, and then get this back as well. Like, there's a lot of different functionalities that I have here. I can spin a back row. I can spin the monster. I can diamond dire a back row. Spin the monster. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to diamond dire the back row. Because resources are literally not real at this point. Because everything I get just flows into more cards. Uh, it all just flows. Let it flow. Let it flow. I don't even know what I'm going to be playing against. Ah, limiter removal. Some machine deck. Um, limiter removal could be considered an out to this. Um, but Trick Clown will bring itself back again. And so then what I'll be able to do here is I will be able to use Great Magnus Man. And I will be able to ditch a blue layer to spin this. And then the blue layer will activate so that I can put back an Alphen, a blue layer. And um, I have a green layer still under this too. So yeah, I'll put back a green layer. So that I have like one of each name. Well actually I still don't even have one of each. Um, I need to resolve another blue layer to put the other ones back. Damn, it's getting rough over here. <laughs> it's getting rough over here indeed. Um, do I have another blue engrave? I do, so I can actually just Norden into the blue layer <laughs> that's engrave. Make another level four. Uh, make another rank four and the MST dude, so that literally everything is gone. His other back row, gone. Um, do I want to use this effect? No. Uh, it's going to be negated, so I don't want to soak it here. Uh, so, this is an MST. Welcome to the future. Um, pot of duality, alright. Getting more and more information as we progress. And then I'll overlay into this a book of moon. And now, and now we feast. So this is 4k and that's 36. Um, there was no combination of cards to make it uh, exactly, to make it 8k I don't think. Uh, because Utopia the Lightning is the only other like card that would have been huge in the extra deck, but it, that has to battle a monster. Uh, so there is that. Uh, the issue with this deck is that sometimes you just don't know what you're playing against. <laughs> that is another thing, uh, is that since it's so hard to out this card, sometimes you just don't know what you're playing against. Ah, Girgia! Alright. I can respect it. Girgia with limited removal, pot of duality, stuff like that. I can respect. I can give you the respect. Alright. So Girgia is the first game of this video. I'm gonna probably be- I'm likely gonna be doing two games. <laughs> Period. Because... I mean, come on now. Um, it's pretty It's pretty clear why. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go in for one more game because, I mean, I want to showcase this as much as I can. It's great. I love this deck. This deck is so intricate. So, so intricate. So many different ways to grind. So many different ways to summon your boss monster. Oh, his hand is amazing. Oh, I'm going first. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm gonna send the Trick Clown just so I don't forecast what I'm playing, but even then I have the upstart and that, jeez, man. I've got the field spell too, so I can just get the chicken game here and just turn that into another draw. Like, what? Oh, sure, that's not what it's here for. It's not here for the double summon, although it's good. It's certainly not needed. <laughs> certainly. Certainly not needed for that, because... I've already got this, plus a reasoning, so I've already got two different summons. I don't really think I need the third, sir. I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, we'll activate this first. Still haven't forecasted anything about what I'm playing. Uh, I'm curious as to what he picks. He picked, what, five? Well, that's a four. Special. Yes. Special this guy out of my hand. What, do you have another Veiler? This will bait all the Veilers. Straight away it will. I can guarantee you this. Um, so now this, I want to hit blue, I can hit blue or red, um, because red would add back the blue, and I still haven't normal summoned yet. Uh, if I hit green, this is where it's going to become a problem. 
Uh, so red, blue, and green. There's literally nothing else I want to hit. If I hit the green, I'm going to be so upset, because the red will bring back the blue, and that will be an option. Uh, but, yes, red! All right! All right, so we'll activate this. I don't want to activate blue layer. Um, and I... Do I want to activate green? Uh, or do I want to activate green? Because I can discard this draw card. Um, and then blue layer could just search the field spell again anyway. Uh, yes, I will. Uh, so this will add the blue layer back to my hand because it's necessary. I need to summon it. Green will discard my field spell. Draw me a new card in place of it. Um, so upstart goblin. So now I just have a, two other draws in the form of chicken game and uh, upstart. And I'm going to play them first because if I draw another copy of terraforming, I obviously don't want to search the field spell. Um, so yeah, draw a card. I still haven't used my normal summon yet. He Valored my Seraph Knight like it mattered. Um... I mean, truth be told, can't really blame him. I mean, you can, but you can't, because I mean, he doesn't know who he's playing against, and he just, this guy just went out of his way to make a uh, make a uh, make a Seraph Knight. Uh, so yes, we'll activate this, and then we will get the field spell, and I'll be able to overlay these into the five naturally. The the red Xyz, uh, red Xyz here. Green Xyz can be summoned naturally as well, and then the Field Spell can summon the Blue Xyz by discarding. Um, very economical Xyz summoning tactics this deck has. Very, very well done. Have to give it credit. Um, and the Red Layer hasn't triggered its effect either, so what I could actually do is I could discard Red Layer um, and get back Blue if I had one in the grave, but I don't, but I have that in grave. But it can't activate its effects if it comes back off red layer, so I'm going to keep it in my hand to use off of green layer's draw effect. I can still cycle through more cards with this hand, uh, which is another thing that's absolutely just ridiculous. Um, but we'll do this. Uh, overlay the MST Xyz, the blue Xyz. And then this will activate, yes. I want to put back this. I want to put back... I've got a green under this. Yes, I do. I want to put that back, and I also wish to put back a blue layer, because I have a blue layer under that. Uh, we'll keep the Alphen in grave, just because. It makes no sense not to keep it there. Um, I don't really need it for the rest of the game, as long as this Magnus sticks. Even if the Magnus doesn't stick, it brings all three of these back. <laughs> Whoa! Um, and all, if all three of those die... This gets to get special summon, get blue layer back, blue layer can get another copy of the field spell that I just put back, and then I can summon Magnus again with these guys in grave. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and he's starting with five cards because he Valored my Seraph Knight. He could have Valored anything else, and that would have been, like, game. Um, well, maybe not game, but, like, I could have probably played around it, but the fact that he's... Because with two normal summons, I probably could have played around the Valor, so I don't think it actually mattered what he Valored. Um... But, oh, he's playing B.A. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> poor bastard. <laughs> I'm going to spin your Dante. <laughs> um, your Dante is not going to resolve. Uh, or do I even care about you summoning Dante? I'll just spin your back row. Or no, I don't care about the back row. This is such a conundrum. I don't care about the back row because this is unaffected by all of it. Whoa. Nightmare Shark. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, sure. Detach rubric. All right, cool. You know this card's a castell, right? Do you know that this is a castell? I don't think you know this is a castell. I'm gonna inform you. This is a castell. Uh. So yeah, this will activate. Ditching this. So I drew an instant fusion. Whoa! And so now, if he summons something like a seer or a skarm, I can just get my red. Uh, I can get my green layer back, and that's just all broken. This deck is busted. This deck is great. Ah! Oh, this deck is insane. This deck is good. This deck is great. And I get to spin his seer next turn too. Oh, he's going to try and make another Nightmare Shark. I see. He's going to make a Dante. He's going to try. It's not going to work. He can't get over Magnus. 
He cannot get over Magnus. F zero isn't even an out. Like, <laughs> damn son. <laughs> There's literally nothing. Tell me how the feeling of powerlessness feels, because I'm curious. Um. Yeah, man. Cool. Cool, man's. Yeah, man. Dante, hit me. Yeah. What do you got on here? A forfa? Ooh, not got not good enough, man. Not good enough. Why did you not attack? Oh, Nightmare Shark is something like you can't... It's the only monster that can attack, isn't it? Nightmare Shark does that, doesn't it? I need to read. Where's Nightmare Shark? I need to read Nightmare Shark. Activate Nightmare Shark? I need to read this card's effect. This turn, that monster... No other monsters can attack! <laughs> ah, destruction! Alright. Well... Here's the game plan. Here's the game plan, my lovelies. Detach Trick Clown. Uh, detach Trick Clown. And spin Graph. Trick Clown comes back, I make Dweller. And I attack over this Dante. It's so easy. It's not even fair. It's not even fair, the things you pull out your hair. Um, I can actually just Castell the Dante too, but I can actually just make Dweller and the Book of Moon. Um, so I'll just do that. And the Dweller will be 22, so might as well, right? Um, so activate Instant Fusion for Norden. Nordan. Nordian, Nordan. And Norden will get back Garnet, which I can use to make Dweller. And then I can just kill this. I will just kill it. Ah, Valor? Shit, man. Ha. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna deal with this bullshit. I'm gonna put this face down so it dodges that Valor. I'll get back this Garnet if it kills me. I want this. This can attack. This can't. Alright. So I don't actually care about this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with, uh... I'm gonna hit it with this first. Because that forces him to banish, like, Garnet or this. Um... If he doesn't know what Magnus does, he's gonna try and banish the Magnus. Um, he's trying to banish the Magnus. Good thing it's unaffected. <sighs> well, all right then. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it, man! Damn it! <sighs> Sometimes people make it too easy because they aren't aware of this deck. They're not aware of it. They do not know what Magnus does. Have you read this card? I'm pretty sure this card has more words on it than most Dr. Seuss storybooks, and most Yu-Gi-Oh players are like. They don't even want to read those. They illiterate. They try them, but they not. Ugh. So now I've got Book of Moon. I've this card by itself is just the anti-burning abyss card. This card is Book of Moon. This card is Book of Moon. <laughs> Look at it. This card just says Book of Moon. Once returned, detach and exceed material from this card. Target one other face-up monster on the field. Change it to face-down twist position. This card is Book of Moon. What the hell? I've got a Castell that doesn't target and I've got a Book of Moon against Burning Abyss. The strike doesn't even matter. If I sound like I'm very pleased with myself right now, it's because I am. This deck is insane. All these cards are such good quality, but like, if the deck bricks, oh my god, it bricks. Oh ho ho, it bricks. But otherwise, shit. This deck is really, really good. I kind of want to play this. I kind of want to play this, like, in an actual event. Because it seems like it would be the most fun thing in the world. <laughs> ah, summoning your seer? Um, well, let's see here. Uh, normal summon success. I want to, I want to book a moon it. What? Why can't I book of moon this? Um, why is it not letting me book of moon? That's so ridiculous. Um, well, I'll just Solemn Strike this. Yeah, I'll just strike it. It doesn't actually matter. Why can't I Book of Moon? Target one other face of monster. This effect can be activated in the other player's turn. Why is it not letting me? Do I have to have the green layer under it? No, I don't. I most definitely don't. I know this. What the hell? I'm so confused. 
So his C his Dante gets a forfeit back, his Seer gets a special summon something. It doesn't matter. It's getting spun, whatever it is. There's nothing you can do that's going to throw. Oh, and this is face down, so it didn't die by instant fusion. That's another thing that's really cool. Um, Barbar, yeah, sure, burn me 900. That's semantics. Semantics, man. It doesn't actually matter. <laughs> sure, 900. I'm still at nine. No, not 19. That's the wrong way around. I am at 16. And why is this not let me activate? That's the question that I have for the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Um, special summon success, what did he add? He added a Farfa back to his hand? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I just get to make Dweller next turn. Um, special Farfa? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why is this not an option? I'm so confused. Uh, yes, activate. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Um, so what I can do is I'll detach, I'll detach red layer, and I'll shuffle this Dante back, and then red layer's effect will bring back green, so it's just here, uh, so that I can have so many rank 4 options on the following turn. Because this Farfa doesn't matter. This Farfa could not matter any less, in fact, uh, because I'm going to make a Dweller. Uh, but I can activate this. I'll activate this. I will ditch the blue layer. Spin this. The blue layer will trigger. Putting back red. Field spell. And Alphen. Flip the Norden. Make Dweller. e -tally into the blue layer. Shit, man. Broken. Um, yeah, Dweller. Dweller is definitely the game plan here. Because Dweller gets this farf off the board without being indecisive. Uh, no, I do not wish to do that because these cards' effects on field can miss timing. Can miss timing. You gotta remind yourself, they can miss timing. If they can, they will. Um, so I'll add red layer. Look at this. Look at all this nonsense. I could have even Book of Mooned this and gotten the Trick Clown back and made another rank 4 before I e this out. Such good card quality. Such good card quality. I just out, like, even without Magnus being a factor, I just grinded the shit out of all of his resources. Like, everything just snowballs. Look at that. Look at this deck. I am such a fan. Oh my goodness, this deck is really cool. I really like playing this deck because I really like how intricate and technical it is. Um, like, it's very technical. I like that. But, anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook pages. If you want to connect with me, chat with me, whatever. If you want to suggest a deck for me to play, send it to my Facebook fan page. And if I have some time, I will definitely check it out. Link is also to my Twitch channel if you want to follow that and get notified when I go live for live streaming. As well as my Twitch Alerts donation link if you want to possibly support me directly with a small donation. Everything that gets donated is going towards a new computer setup, so... Any little bit would help, but it's not required, but it would definitely be appreciated and you would have my eternal gratitude. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think, again, about this Super Quantum deck in the comments down below. But other than that, that is all for this video, and as always, guys, take care. This deck is awesome.